Hello friends, welcome to this session. The solution architecture exam preparation of AWS is here and let's go for the today's question. So the today's question is an administrator of security industry for large company, a new customer of your of yours run a production environment in AWS and they require log of all API calls made to their elastic load balancer. How can you achieve this? So the question is here, you can go to the reverse side. The API calls made to the elastic load balancer in a production environment. Here the administrator of security industry want to know how to see who made this API calls. So let's go for the op options over here. So options one is enable cloud trail on EBS. Enable cloud watch on EBS. That's option two. That's a cloud watch. Option three is no need to enable. The log will be in a cloud watch automatically. And the third, fourth option is assign IAM role policy for EBS for logging. So let's talk about the all options over here. So we will start from the uh, bottom. The assign IAM role policy on EBS for logging. Uh, that's uh, there is no any policy for the logging over here because we need the API calls made to the EBS. Uh, the second uh, la uh, latest option is no need to enable log will be automatically go for the cloud watch. Yes, log will be go for the cloud watch automatically for EC2 instance. But here it will uh, uh, dump the logs of the application or logs of the uh, redirection. Here the, the API call which is the internal uh, request comes that will not come over here. The last option is enable CloudWatch. Yes, CloudWatch we can enable but the CloudWatch will now show the API uh, required that, that made to the uh, elastic load balancer. So the all the API logs which the security industry is related the call will be logged in the cloud trail. See cloud trail will monitor the all the uh, administrator changes and it will show the all the API logs who change what. So you can go for the options A is the right answer over here. Okay, let's move for the next question over here. An administrator of AWS in your company deployed five instance. Does Amazon will always have root level access for all EC2 instance? So it's a really very straightforward question. So there are five instance deployed. So all the instance having the root access, it's asking the. So let's have there are two false questions. So let's have the uh, answer over here. You can understand the all the uh, root level access Amazon are not directly giving to the any of instance. So here is answer is false. So Amazon not providing the root level access directly to the any instance. Okay, let's move for the next question. You can write your options uh, till time. Uh, the next question is EC2 instance associated with the two security group. The first rule is allow access from the port 25 and the source IP is 50.5.5.5. The next point is another rule is port 80 for from the uh, IP is 0.0.0. .0, .0. What traffic can reach to your instance? So there are two rules. One rule is 25 port access from the specific IP which is at 50.5.5.5 and the second is port 80 is open for the 0.0.0, .0 IP. Let's go for the options over here. So option one is mail and HTTP traffic can be accessed from the any hosts 0.0.0. .0. The next one is no traffic allowed. Uh, the next one is allow all traffic by default. And the latest one is the mail from the 50.5.5 and the HTTP from any allowed. So here you can understand the uh, we have uh, given the two rules. One is the source IP is 50.5.5.5. .5 .5 .5. Then the, let's go for the options latest that the last one. Here the uh, mention the, the mail traffic will allow from the 50.5.5.5. .5 and the HTTP traffic will be allowed from the any IP as they are mentioned 0.0.0.0. .0. Let's move the uh, for seeing the answer confirmation. Yeah, the answer is the last one. So friends, this is all about the, um, the questions of AWS and we will meet again for, for some new questions. 
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब एंड डोंट फॉर्गेट टू आंसर योर इन कमेंट सेक्शन